This is my review of the Lego C uh, Police Headquarters set number. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, you get seven figures with it, two uh, and one dog. You get two um, prisoners and all these guys, police officers. And you get four vehicles. Uh, there and there. First off, this is the main uh, general officer. Uh, he looks pretty cool, I like his face. It's one of the new ones, I think. But the dog. He's pretty cool, I like him. Dogs are good. Uh, Alright. Here's uh, another officer. His face, really good. He's got the uniform, neat and that. Uniform, same here. Both the same, really. Not much difference just in the faces. And um, a motorcycle policeman. He's got suit and badge, radio, DL. Let's do on all of Prisoners, so always look pretty cool. So, these clothes make them look like poor prisoners. So, I uh, haven't got anything against them. Now, uh, you've got for DL and features, we have four handcuffs right here. And in my last few, I think I've shown you my uh, how to put the handcuffs on. If you wondered how they went on. And a little box, which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So I really like. And get these barriers and <coughs> push to go up and down. It's really good. Now for the motorbike, it's really big and chunky. Quite nice. It's a good looking kind of thing. You get a quad bike. It's really good. I love these things. They're really smooth. Well, not exactly smooth, but there's always, there's always rubber, the wheels. And get some natural features, plants and stuff. He's not supposed to be there. Um, and if you have any gates, as I said before in the fire station review, these are really cool. Really good gates. Uh, car, this is probably one of the best cars I've ever seen. Um, I did want to transform into a city car, but it just suits being a police car. It's got these new Lego bricks. So yeah, it's really good uh, features. And the dog, the hound, the uh, vehicle. Put the dog in there. It's coming off a bit. That's it. It opens, dog gets put in there. And steam away from there. It's really good. And uh, yeah, the radio bits, the lights, and the hood. And the top of the tower here. And satellite. Little bits and bobs, place cameras, and um, a lookout tower. Or picks up radio signals and stuff. That's really good. Looks, it fits in with the police station well. And here in the cells, I'll just show you around the back. This is really good. I like this fit. They uh, flip off. I'm only gonna show you one. You get a cup and toilets. Really good. I like the toilets. Get a bed. Yeah. That's really good. I'll say this is better than the last police station I made. Uh, you got loads of, loads of space down here. It's not supposed to be there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and lots of space. Hallway bits now. If I turn this around. Uh, you can see a stairway leading up to the office. Little light. You go in to the main general's desk, and here's a uh, broom that uh, clean up. And you don't get a brush or any water equipment like you did in the fire station for the vehicles, but there we go. And a uh, really cool feature this water fountain. It's really good. And get briefcases as well, I think. I'm not sure if I'll put them in there myself. Yeah, I think you do. Oh yeah, and he's got a police badge. He got 
the surveying room, got the radio thing, um, like the recorder, coffee machine, you got um, like um, the questioning board room, got light, stickers set to the detail. Overall, it's a really good set, uh, probably the best police, it's definitely the best police set. And so you, you don't get, oh, and other sets, sure. Put that on the helicopter if you take off that light. Um, I'll give this a 9 and 10, as they didn't use much of the space well, and uh, you didn't get a brush, and I really like brushes. But otherwise, it's a really good set, and uh, so 9 out of 10.